Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create a repository in GitHub and how you can upload files or folder in your GitHub repository. So for it, once you log into your GitHub account, on the left side you will see a new option over here. Here you can see top repositories and here you can see new option. So I'll click on this new option and here you can see create a new repository. So here you need to give your repository a name. So for example, I'll say my repository name will be hotel template. And here you can see it shows that uh, the name is available. So after this, here you can see description. So the description is optional. If you want, you can give a description or you can limit empty. And here you can see public and private option. So if you make it public, then everyone will be able to see your repository. And if you make it private, then only you will be able to see it. And if you make the repository private, then only you will be able to see the repository and the people you have added to your repository will be able to see the code or whatever file you have in your repository. So I'll keep it public so that anyone will be able to see it on the internet, my repository so after it we have this added readme file so once you check it you'll be able to like add instruction in this readme file uh, for whoever want to install or for whoever who want to download your code or file okay so you can add a instruction in this readme file choose which file not to take from the list uh, so you can just read this out and choose a license you can choose a license for your repository, but we'll keep it none. And here you can see create repository button. So once we click on this button, create repository, it will start creating our repository. There you can see it loaded and it took us to this page. So right now in order to add file in this repository. So here you can see add file option. So here you can see upload files so i'm going to upload some file from my desktop so i'll click on upload files and it will take me to this page and choose your files i'll click over here choose your files and right now i'll go to uh, documents and here i have a file over here i'll click on it and click open and there you can see uploading on file and it is done so after uploading here you can see comic changes so if I now click on commit changes, it's loading, posting your file and there you can see hello.txt is uploaded. If you want to upload more file, then again click on add file and then click on upload files. Like this, you can add multiple file. So right now let's say you want to upload a folder, how you can do it. So for it, uh, I have a folder that I choose over here, uh, which is this one. I want to upload this folder. So for it, let me just minimize it like this. So what I'll do is that I'll just drag, I'll just drag this folder to our here like this and I'll just leave it. And there you can see it started uploading. So the total number of file I have is 77. So this may take some time. So right now I'll just fast forward the video. And uh, one more thing I would like to mention is that the highest number of file you can upload at a time is 100 so if your file uh, so if you have more than 100 file in your folder you won't be able to upload it because the highest number is 100 since i have only 77 file in the folder so i am able to upload it so right now i'll just fast forward the video so there you can see the uploading is complete uh, all the file is uploaded so right now I need to come down and here you can see commit changes. So I click over here, commit changes, processing your file. This, this may take a few minutes to complete it depending on your project size or folder size. So again, I'll just fast forward the video. And there you can see the folder upload is successful. If I now click on this folder name, there you can see we have a few more folder inside the folder. We have images font CSS. So this is how we can upload files and folder in GitHub. I hope you learned something new in this tutorial. If you have any question or if you want to give any suggestion, just let me know in the comment section. I would like to thank you again for watching. I will see you in the future tutorials.